Bye. Sorry. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do like no call interruptions on this. It's not the call. It's like I have some task thing that shows up on the bottom and it says dismiss, call later, send uh, like a quick text. And that's what freezes my live, not the call. The call I can dismiss. It's like this task thing that comes up. I don't know what it is. I swear I turned it off before, but I guess not. So I don't know what it is. Sorry. Let's try it again. Sorry, sorry. Let's see. Sorry. I swear I took that little task thing off once before. And then it came back. I need to figure out a way to take it off. Like I said, it's not the call. It's not the call that stops the live, it's this task bar that comes up that lets me um, send a text message to the person who called. So I need to figure out how to dismiss that. Anyway, so, sorry. Hopefully the people that were watching will come back. I'm sorry. So. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Carolyn. Okay, so we're going to be talking about my Brazilian blowout that I got before I went to Cancun. And I'm just going to show you uh, some of the products that I used. And then, so you guys see, this is my hair after getting out of the shower last night. This is how it dried. Hi, Kelly. I'm not going to thumbs up you this time, Kelly, because um, we know what I did last time, too, in Mexico. I blocked you. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Erica. Okay, ladies, so this is what I was saying. This is my hair dried after I got out of the shower last night. So, I'm pretty excited about that because this, I've been meaning to show you guys this. This is not how my hair would dry before. It would be frizzy, like big. And no, I didn't dry it. I didn't anything. So the only thing that I spritzed was this um, color lock treatment. That was the only thing. I didn't do any kind of serum. Um, I had gotten like this little bio silk, but I didn't even put that in it. Like I hopped out of the shower and it was dinner time. So I got dressed. And I just sprayed this color lock treatment. I just like spritzed it on this side and I spritzed it on this side. And then um, my cousin Rosanna has this wet brush at the salon. So I saw this little like sample size that, or sample bite size size because um, I didn't want a big one to take to Cancun. So I just got this. I just combed it and I went and ate dinner. And this is how it dried. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering how it dries, this is it. So I didn't do anything to it today. I just threw it in a pony. Okay, so obviously I would want to straighten it if I wanted to straighten look, but it wouldn't be as much work, obviously, as if, I wa as if it did not have the Brazilian already done to it because... I would normally have to blow dry it, 
put like a, um, a bio silk or something in it to um, protect it first and then blow dry it, do a comb or brush and get it straight and then have to do a straightener once it's dry. So the fact that it's already this straight, I probably would just throw some curl up in there, right? Uh, so, you can see, yes, I went into the ocean, okay, it still worked, um, so, uh, basically I got it done, um, I think the date was August 19th, so, uh, I didn't wash my hair before I left, I wanted it to be, like, sh how she did it when I left, and getting on the plane and all that, um, so she gave me, there's a special conditioner, that you're um, supposed to use for the first time. So she gave that to me to take. So the first time that I washed my hair, I used that conditioner that she gave me. Um, so I mean, even if I it got wet in the pool, uh, so I used that conditioner. And then um, otherwise, I got this shampoo. So it's like it's a bamboo, bamboo smooth shampoo conditioner. Um, the shampoo is a sul, sulfate-free shampoo, so um, if you're familiar with that, um, that basically it means that it doesn't lather as much as an, a normal shampoo. So if you're used to your shampoo, like if you think it's not working because you don't have a lot of suds and you keep putting it on, so that basically that's what the sul, uh, sulfate shampoo does. Um, so uh, if you have dry hair, then you don't want to use a sulfate shampoo, if that makes sense. So this here is a sulfate-free shampoo that this is um, with a bamboo extract. So that's the shampoo. Okay, so you don't have to keep putting more on because it's not lathering, if that makes sense to you. Um, then in Cancun, I just used the bile silk. Uh, most of the time, you had to keep it wavy or uh, I wanded it or did something because no matter what you had, Brazilian or not, you was getting frizz in Cancun. So we just kept it wavy. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that even if after all that in the ocean and everything, washing my hair last night, here's your, here is the dried look. So I was hoping uh, Roseanne was going to pop on here. Um, I know in the beginning she said it would last a few months, which I'm glad because um, look at my damn grays though. My grays, they grow so freaking fast. It pisses me off. Um, hi Sarah's, Nat, Danielle. Hi ladies. Uh, anyways, any questions about the hair and this, like, my thinning hair, I swear, getting old, shitty, crappy. You guys want to see my fascia blaster? Okay. <laughs> Who's done this yet? Wendy, if you're still on here, I still haven't cut mine. This is my fascia blaster, ladies. I am so tired. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm finally getting to a point in my leg where it's like the gravel. Okay, well, my hair, we're not old, but my hair is old, I feel like, because it's so gray and it's so thin. I need, there's like this spray I found on Pinterest. I know you guys, I look at Pinterest for like remedies. Who else does that? Share them, please. So I found this new one. I tagged it, I pinned it to my hair board. <coughs> and it's exactly for this thinning hair. Come on, someone chime in. Who else looks for thinning hair remedies right here? Go to my hair board. I found one. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so my blasting, 
I'm finally to a point in my leg that I'm getting to that gravelly grime. And uh, I've been like reading like the forum in her group, like the like the release of the toxins. And oh my god, I'm so tired. It's so tired. And I, I was at, like this little um, you know, like these bumps on the top of my leg, like almost like a little rash. So I, I'm guessing it was like the little toxins coming out, and then my like, face right here, like I'm like, okay, get out of me, you little toxins, and fat, fat, pack, fat little cells, so I can remove. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's hot with this hair down. Hi, Roxanne. Any questions about the Brazilian blowout? It's pretty awesome. I'm excited that it's still going. I hope it lasts a really long time. Because like I said, my hair would not be like this. I think I have a picture of my hair on here when I did the flop. It was huge. Huge, huge. Thirsty. Oh, Roxanne, this, um, this is just, this is my hair getting out of the shower and drying by itself last, um, last night. So, like, and the only thing that I spritzed in it was this color treatment. So, this is how it dried. So, obviously, you know, it's a little wavy, but nothing at all compared to what it would normally be. It would normally be, like, frizz. So, if I was to straighten it, I would have to blow dry it first just to, like, dry it to get it straight and then straighten it. To where now it's pretty much straight besides like just you know some waves where I could just yeah mine is normally it would be a fro too mm -hmm. so yeah yes four months yeah I don't remember how long she said it would last but Anybody else on here have one that four months is the average? So I'm assuming, Natalie, it just gets wavier and wavier until it's fro. Back to a fro. Yeah, Roxanne, I don't know how they do it, and, um... I'm assuming like certain techniques, I would look that up too. Okay, so Stacy, you're four months too. Okay, so I should at least expect mine to be August, September, October, November, December, December, okay. That works for me. All right, well, uh, and then I just showed shampoo. If your hair is more on the dry side, then this one um, is a sulfate-free shampoo that I've been using. Um, then just a color treatment, and then I use like BioSilk, and then the little wet brush, but that was it. And I went in the ocean. That was like a big thing on their frequently asked questions. And then some people had asked on here. And even my sister was going to get it done before we went on Cancun. And she was told not to bother because going in the ocean um, would defeat the purpose. And so I went in the ocean and it's still okay. So that was one of the questions. My roots will start to flow. Hi, Melissa. I hope you're feeling good, sister. Oh, don't mind my liners I was testing today. Oh, well, damn it, Facebook. 
Aw, thank you. I think I was cutting out, but I hope you're feeling good. All right, ladies, um, if you have any questions, um, my cousin Roseanne Noyce does my hair. She is at Hair at the Ritz in Pleasanton. Um, she's also in this group. Um, she's tagged in my picture. Feel free um, to tag her with any questions um, or hit her up for an appointment. Okay. Oh, good. I'm glad to see that, Melissa. Okay, bye ladies.